Good afternoon, everyone. It's David Schlotthauer here in the home weather office with another detailed update on Hurricane Lee for September the 12th, 2023. We're going to keep an eye on it as it continues to move north getting close to Bermuda over the next few days, and then eventually getting dangerously close to the northeast, including for Nova Scotia, within the next five days. Here's a look at the 5 o'clock NHC advisory on Hurricane Lee for this afternoon and evening. Maximum sustained winds are at 115 miles an hour, so still a major hurricane on the NHC with really large hurricane force winds, including tropical storm force winds that extend pretty far out from the center, and yes, if this gets dangerously close to Bermuda, there could be near hurricane force winds, and that's why there's already a tropical storm watch issued for Bermuda for this afternoon. Then eventually this is going to cruise up towards the north um, by Saturday, impacting areas like Maine, Cape Cod, as well as perhaps Nova Scotia, and then by Sunday eventually getting inland there of Newfoundland and the Labrador of Canada by that period. Looking at the latest chances and arrival time of tropical storm force winds, there was an issue with the rendering here, so we're not able to give you the exact times, but I can tell you right now, Bermuda has a 40 to 60% chance of seeing tropical storm force winds here within the next two to three days. So if you're on Bermuda, please take action at protecting yourself because again, this is going to be pretty intense. The winds are going to be strong. We're talking about some moderate to heavy rainfall clipping the island here of Bermuda. And not only that, we're looking at some very high surf. Waves could approach maybe 30 feet, maybe 45 feet high. So keep that in mind. If you're on the island, I'm going to see some storm surge, some high surf, some heavy rain, and some strong winds associated with Lee's passage. And then eventually, into Maine as well as say Nova Scotia where you have a 50 to 60 percent chance of seeing tropical storm force winds in the next four to five days. Here's a look at the key messages for Hurricane Lee. Dangerous surf and life-threatening rip currents will affect portions of the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and the Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas, Bermuda, and most of the eastern um, seaboard as well as the northeast. There is increasing risk of strong winds, rainfall, and high surf impacts to Bermuda later this week, and a tropical storm watch has been issued for that island. It remains too soon to know what level of additional impacts Lee might have along the northeastern U.S. coast and the Atlantic Canada late this week into the weekend. However, since wind and rainfall hazards will extend well away from the center as Lee grows in size, users should continue to monitor updates to Lee's forecast during the next several days. So now looking at the tropical floater here on uh, Hurricane Lee, and we can see that there are concentric eye walls here. Maybe that there could be an early sign of another eyewall replacement cycle. I mean, this is very similar to Hurricane Larry that we had um, last year, where we had several um, considered eyewalls with many eyewall replacement cycles. So that's what's probably happening right now. And the eye is really big here, probably about 50 or 60 miles in diameter, might even be bigger than that perhaps, with a really, really large hurricane wind field and tropical storm force wind field as this continues to slowly move off towards the north-northwest at about 7 or so miles an hour. And again, this is still a major hurricane. This is powerful by all means uh, at the moment with a very well symmetrical looking cloud field. So again, that's a look at Lee right now. Let's take a look at the latest recon data. And yeah, they found air pressure down to 946 millibars. And again, possibly concentric eye walls that are continuing over the system. By the way, look how strong the winds are way out here from the center. Um, that is 100 and, or about 96 to 113 knot winds. So that is major hurricane force winds nearly at the surface, more likely tropical storm force, but wow, very, very large wind field. In fact, the entire lake here in the, um, shows hurricane force winds extending well out from the center of Lee's center, which means this remains a very powerful, dangerous hurricane right now with a very large hurricane wind field.
So looking at the GFS model, let's kind of look at uh, where Lee is going to head next here on the model. This is for this afternoon on Tuesday. There is Lee right there on the bottom right side of the screen. So going forward in time, we can see Lee is going to be um, turning more north throughout the next day or so, impacting areas like Bermuda. And yeah, Bermuda is right in here. So you're Talking about some um, moderate to maybe some heavy rainfall. And look at these winds here at the surface. Certainly um, 48 to 52 knot winds. That is um, high grade tropical storm force winds impacting the island of Bermuda. And if you don't know where Bermuda is, it is right here on the map. So you're talking certainly about hurricane force winds clipping the islands and then eventually this is going to go north and impact areas like nova scotia and boy that is still a very powerful system here on the northern side where there could be still hurricane force winds with pressures down to 964 millibars and yeah certainly maybe certainly some tropical storm force winds right along the coast there of eastern maine as well as nova scotia so if you're doing anything uh, for this weekend, especially for Saturday morning, the weather is going to be absolutely inclement. Heavy rainfall, strong winds. Uh, it's just not going to be pleasant to do anything outdoors as that moves off towards the north. And then by Sunday, that is already out of the picture. So now looking at how much rainfall Lee might bring to the northeast here, especially for Maine, you might see as much as, say, uh, three to five inches of rain. Nova Scotia could see slightly more, perhaps when that center moves over, maybe five to six inches of rainfall. When we look at the Euro model as far as where it's showing where Lee is going to be headed, we can see going forward here. This is by uh, Thursday afternoon. There is um, Bermuda. I don't want to forget all about you. There's the black dot for reference where Lee is going to be passing over. And then eventually, look at this. We're looking at some moderate to heavy rainfall and some strong winds impacting Cape Cod as well as the Northeast. Look at that rainfall there over Maine. It could be pretty intense for Saturday all the way into Sunday as the center itself could clip easternmost Maine in five days. This is Sunday morning, September the 17th. All right, so the Euro is a little bit slower as far as um, where this is going to be moving into. Um, so this is Saturday afternoon on the GFS. This is for Sunday morning, or wait, Sunday um, morning, perhaps an afternoon on the Euro. So a little bit um, slower on the Euro, a little bit faster on the GFS there. But pretty much now we have an area that we might have to watch for a landfall that could clip the eastern U.S., all right, how much rainfall could you all see there? Uh, Bermuda could see as much as maybe a half an inch to an inch and a half. Then look at this up towards Maine, that narrow corridor could see five to seven inches of rainfall. Cape Cod, maybe two to three inches of rain. The New York area metro, maybe a half an inch to an inch and a half. But again, it's going to be the winds that you're going to have to contend with. And when we look at the wind forecast, look at that. Um, like I said, um, you're looking at 48 to 52 knots. That is roughly about, uh, about say, 55 to 65 miles an hour or so. That's what you're looking at. And then eventually that storm really spins down on the Euro. So definitely some impacts out of the system. And that's why here we're going to be, uh, we're looking at the ensemble forecast. I'm going to zoom in on this so you all can see this a bit better. But look at this. Um, right now, most of the members are nailing or kind of eyeballing Maine, new, um, as well as, say, Nova Scotia, Canada, in about five days. When we look at the, um, the intensity forecast, uh, we can see, again, major hurricane here. Uh, so that's winds up to about 115 miles an hour. And then getting down to a Category 2, then a Category 1, and then down to a tropical storm. So, yeah, we're going to see maybe... A slight, a bit more strengthening if that five miles an hour stronger. But most of the models do indicate that this is going to be weakening over the next several days, which is good because the sooner it weakens, the less likely chance it will be significant when it hits the northeast. But it won't matter at this point. The wind field is going to be large with Lee's center as it moves onshore. And therefore, you're going to be looking at a widespread look here. 
uh, further out from the center with tropical storm force winds. That's strong um, winds that are over 40 miles an hour, heavy rainfall, maybe some high surf as well with this system. All right, everyone, that is going to do it. This is a pretty short video, really not much new on Lee today. If you all enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. It really means a lot. I can't do these videos without your awesome diligent support. The way to get this out is by sharing this with your family and friends and also by liking the video and subscribing. You guys are awesome. And also, um, if you haven't known about this already, the Discord server is open to members only. If you want to join today, please click the link below this video to get started. Not below this video, video, but go to members only uh, where you could find that on the community post. That's going to do it, folks. Thank you all for watching.